Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to create our base character class. So with that said, let's just dive right in. Let's open up Unity. Go to our character classes folder. We'll create a new C sharp script. And we'll just call this base character. Now double click it to open up mono development. And rename your script or at least your class. Now for now we're going to have it inherit from mono behavior so we can just take it and drag it onto a game object. Now if we're not inheriting from mono behavior we can't actually click it and drag it onto uh, a game object in our scene. Now our base class is going to be used to drive our player character as well as our mobs so we want to include everything in this class that's going to be similar between the two. So we know our character and our mobs are going to want a name. They'll want to have a level. And we're going to assign a variable to hold the amount of experience that they have to spend. Now I'm going to make this a uint, and what that means is that it's an unsigned integer. Since our character can never have negative experience, uh, this allows us to hold uh, more experience for them to spend. If you use just a regular int, uh, the range goes from uh, something like 2.6 million or something like that to negative 2.6 million. And by making an unsigned integer, you end up with uh, 4.2 million to zero. That means nothing to you, don't worry about it, just keep it as a uint, or if you really want, just keep it as an int. So we'll just call this free exp. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to be adding a using statement, and it's just going to be system. Now I need this up here just so I can quickly access the enum class. And I'll be using the enum to assign all of our attributes and our vitals and skills. So let's set an area up to hold those now. We now have our private array set up for our attributes, our vitals, and our skills. And this is misspelt. It should just be skill. Now let's go ahead and create our awake function and in here we'll assign all of the default values for all of the variables we've just created. So we'll set the name to equal uh, string empty. So it just creates an empty string for us. Our level We'll set it to equal, we'll, we'll just start them off at level zero. And our free EXP will also be zero. Now next we're going to want to set up the size of these arrays that we've created to hold our attributes, vitals, and skills. And we'll do this just by finding out the size of our enumeration. Now this is why we included the system class up here. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, so here's what the one for the primary attribute will look like. We take the variable that we're using to store our primary attributes in, which we defined up here. Now we're going to create a new attribute, which is just simply pointing to this here. And we're in here we're saying how big it's going to be. Now we're going to say enum get values of the type of attribute name, which is our enumeration over here. And we're going to get its length. So for our attributes, at least the ones I've set up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have enough room in here to hold seven attributes. So if you have more or less of them, this line of code will still work the same for you. That's one of the reasons why I did it through enumeration instead of statically setting which ones we're going to have. Now let's go ahead and set up our vitals and our skills as well. 
Now when you have all three done, it should look like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is come down here and create three more private functions. And they're simply going to be to set up our default uh, primary attributes, vitals, and skills. We'll come back and fill out the function later on, but for now I just want to actually create the, the function. Okay, I've created three functions. One to set up our primary attributes, one to set up our vitals, and one to set up our skills. But before I fill those out, I'm going to go ahead and create the default setters and getters for our name, level, and free EXP. And I'll add that just above where we set up our primary attributes. Okay, so if you've been following along with our tutorial series, then you already know how to make your basic setters and getters. So here's the three I created. One for the name, which returns a string. One for the level, which is an int. And the only difference is this one here where our free exp. Remember that if you're using it as a uint up here, or an unsigned integer, make sure your return type down here is an unsigned integer. Now one more function we're going to want to have is a way to add experience to our character. So let's create that now. It'll be a private function, or sorry, a public function. It's a void return type, and we'll just call it add exp. It's going to receive a uint, and we'll just call it exp. Now this just stands for the amount of experience that's being added to our score our experience. So we'll just say free exp plus equals exp. And that'll be it. So let's check for errors. Uh, we have one. Ah, we've got the return type in awake, which should be a void. And we have warnings for variables that we're not using yet but we'll get into those. And while we're here, let's also make one more function, which will be public, and we'll call it calculate level. Now what this is going to do is just calculate the level of our character. Now the traditional way to do it is to, after you've reached a certain amount of experience, you, you level up, and then you can create a, another function that takes care of the leveling up of your character, which could be, you know, adding more skill points or opening up new skills that weren't available for, whatever, whatever you want. But I want to try something a little more standard. I haven't completely thought it out yet. So for now, I'm just going to leave this function empty, but I am going to come up here and every time we add experience, I'm going to call the calculate level function. I'm just going to quickly comment this just so I know that I have to add more to it. Now the way I was looking at it was I was going to uh, take the average of all of the players skills and assign that as the player level. Now there's still a few more things about that that I have to work out but for now I can just leave that empty. So now let's go in and set up our primary attributes, our vitals, and our skills. So for that, since it's in an array, we can just iterate through it. So I'm just going to use a for loop. And we know the length of it now because we set that up here. So we can just call the primary attribute dot length. and iterate through. So all we're going to do is assign the base values for our attributes. And then we can just cut and paste this into our vitals and our skills and just change the variable names. 